Bob, um, you've you've punished yourself foolishly, but then again, you're Russian, so I mean things are what they are. Um, yes, I'm always in a hurry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, so Bob, now now give us uh, what? Why don't you start off with what were you looking forward to in this uh, coming episode? Well, I was looking forward to, to it being over. I mean. I fell asleep three times on the second episode because it was so boring. Okay. All Only right. twice in the, sec- in the third one, so it improved. Now, because you're Russian, were you Russian to sleep or what? No, it's just that boring. Like, huh. nothing made sense. You expect something to happen yeah. and then nothing does. It, it's right. just right. surprisingly bad. Wait, wait. I got a question. Good, you, you, wait, good oh. twin fastens herself in seatbelt. Spaceship yeah. crashes. Mm-hmm. She flies yeah. out the seatbelt and she's fine. Like Bender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what was but, that about? She, I, I don't. That, Did well, the force like, like all of this is about. secretly save her or something? No, this is what I need. Okay, okay, okay. So here, here's my question for you. Was, was it like a, a Futurama reference? Oh. No, there's no reference in any of this. It doesn't oh. even reference Star Wars. It's oh, it's a wow. hundred years okay. before prequel. Master I Yoda though. should be in charge of Jedi Council, and oh, he's not. I, oh, I have a good, good point. Good point. Uh, wait, wait. Can I, can I have the floor, please? Um, so it's the Force is apparently female, right? And it's uh, now all for women or whatever. But does does anywhere in these three episodes that you can remember that you were awake for does any of it pass the Bechdel test? Well, the there is no force. It's no, the Bechdel now. test. You know, when two ladies are on stream and well. they're not talking about men, I mean, does it pass that test? I mean... Because, I mean, that was a big deal back when Black Widow came out and Disney made a huge deal about it. So, I mean, do they do they check all the boxes on this one? That's all that's really what I want to know. They check every box except they don't have a handicapped person in there yet. I don't know. They got a writer. I'm, I feel like you well, didn't answer my question, but we can move on. I mean, the long well, show. Well, I mean, when Star Wars. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, here, here we go. Men. Here we go. If, if it's Star Wars, the acolyte, that they mm-hmm. start talking about purses, then yeah, yeah, the Bechtel test was in full reference. So okay. now it, they might not call it a purse. In this show, they might call it a purse or something. Right. Yeah. No, it's just like they call a mechanic a, a mech neck. Yeah. yeah. Even the mechanics mech-neck? are mechanics. Yeah. A mech neck. Yeah. Mech neck. Yes. So, so they're, they're, they're ah. that clever. They're that clever punk. Yes. See what they what you're there. saying is there was a typo in the original script and nobody fixed it and they just went with it. Or yes. what actually happened was one person reading the script didn't actually know how to say mechanic and they're like, um, mech. They didn't want to offend that person. So they just went with it. I yeah. think that yeah. it's different than a standard mechanic in that. And that it's female? They go outside of the ship. See, there you go. In that space. makes sense. That makes sense. A, no. a female mechanic is actually just a mechanic. If it's a woman mechanic, I mean, she's obviously not a real mechanic. So calling her a mechanic, it's kind of like the assistant to the assistant manager. It's the same thing. Like the mechanic is over there making the picnic. There you go. See? see? I get it. Sandwiches. Oh, specialize in sandwich mechanic. I got that. Yeah. yeah there you go. It's like way. a sandwich harness, sandwich uh, fixer. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, now you see, when some, when someone meat. says, fix me a sandwich, now this all makes yeah. sense. Yes. Three is entire thing flashback. Okay. With two mothers, no father for yeah. some reason. I don't know yeah. why. Well, and, yeah. And, and then book catches on fire by bad twin okay. and it burns the metal down it burns the stone down burns the whole temple down and kills everybody apparently so that's a reference to fahrenheit 451 yeah, what one book yeah she sets one book on fire mm-hmm. puts it at the door and it burns everything down 
So what you're saying is, if you attach the Benny Hinn or Benny Hill, not Benny Hinn, Benny Hill uh, theme music, it all makes sense again. Yes. I see you, Amber. I appreciate that. What'd you say? That is why Punk Mahal is my favorite today. Floor of the Wookie. Whatever. Shut up, Amber. All right. Um, I theorize that of next episode or two episodes, they'll have Jedi Masker All Witches for some reason. But maybe. there was an interesting scene. Well, I mean, not say interesting. It's another badly written scene where Jedi wants to test children. And one witch says, Jedi steal children. Then they say, we don't Uh-oh. steal children. Then they proceed to steal children. It, it makes no sense. Which is yeah. it? All right. Well, hey, all right. actually, you know what? I, just think about the whole science thing uh, before we before we move on to taking children. Um, yeah. So the same people that brought you the science of flickering flames in space brought you two moms can make a baby and uh, book burned down metal and, and, door and, install. And, and, and yeah. So, I mean, if we're going to be honest, the science is tracking so far, at least they're, 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 they, they have a, uh, scientific continuity in their own universe you have to trust the science exactly exactly trust the science yeah. folks if you trust the science that all makes sense and uh, that works well on every have... reality exactly I, I think that uh maybe 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 that's actually the goal maybe there's like this oh. whole subversion thing going on trust the science, trust science. Okay. you know all right. it, it wouldn't be the first time that they've taken sci-fi shows and tried to make a one-to-one comparison to real life, which is terrible. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. The th- they, they think this is clever. It's intentionally vague. They want the viewer to decide what happened. Problem is, you need to tell the story from one point of view for this to work. Well, yeah, let me give an example. Yep. When, <laughs> when Jedi supposedly take children, mm-hmm. they say we will only do it with your permission looking at parents Mm -hmm. who are threatening to fight and kill jedi to keep children Hmm. then parents agree to let jedi test children this why Uh, did they explain i guess nobody else was in the room when it happened the room when it happened the room when it happened it was all in one scene it just uh i was trying to make more references Hey there, so what you just watched was a portion of our live show that happens on Wednesdays at 9pm Eastern. Apparently you were too lazy to be there that time, but maybe you'll be there next time. Remember, Wednesdays, 9pm Eastern. (laughs)